Hey guys, welcome back to Fleet Friday. This week we're back at the Brooklyn Navy Yard and we're going to be taking a look at the Marine Tactical Unit. It's a 2012 Freightliner M2 with a Ferrara body. This unit is four wheel drive and it's assigned on any boat crashes with souls on board. It's assigned when a, one of the big Marine units is operating at a scene, whether it be mutual aid or in the city responds when divers are put into the water and any water searches. It also may respond as a dewatering unit for storms like Hurricane Sandy and special calls by the Marine Battalion Chief. This unit is very similar to the tactical support units but this unit carries more marine bound equipment. Taking a look inside the camp, this unit has seating for two. It is staffed by a Marine Operations Firefighter and Marine Officer. This unit also will respond to prolonged incidents, as well as for planes in the water, uh, multiple people in the water. It has the ability with life jackets and extra equipment that the Marine units might need. This unit is fully staffed each day and is equipped with an MDT and three radios. Taking a look at the first compartment here, there are name tags, but they're in the process of moving things around, so not everything is uh, there. So we got DOT triangles, the Zisto search camera, we got a Stokes basket, some hooks, a piercing nozzle, we got these uh, tool bags for large ships to uh, move equipment around. Some hose, we got some traffic cones, a bullhorn, shovels, cutting reel, uh, bolt cutters, set of irons, gas meter, binoculars. Uh, we got some saws here, and the batteries for the rig. We got bolt cutters, set of irons, um, gas meter, binoculars, jumper cables, hydro ram, here's the Zisto's uh, search camera. Here's a better look at the piercing nozzle. In this next compartment here, we got the Petro Torch, uh, Rescue Max line gun in the red bag, some ropes. Uh, damage control kit, core uh, plugs, uh, SCBA packs, and some toolbox with sockets and hand tools. Inside the damage, damage control, control kit control is a whole bunch of plugs, cork plugs. We got uh, fuel. The uh, custodial hydrant wrench, some hoses, mutual aid adapters for the whole East Coast. And they're color coded. Now it's just a matter Here's of, all uh, different kinds of adapters. You know, they're all color coded which one you have. for mutual aid. You got your extrication equipment, your jaws for ships.
In this rear compartment, it's a slide out tray. Uh, we have the Stanley unit and the uh, dewatering pump. Hoses. Take a look at the other side of the rig. We got a rope reel, uh, swift water uh, sets, helmet, gloves, boots, full set, uh, rescue torpedo, um, lifesaver, the yellow are more suits, life vests, BFDs, SCBA, and oxygen bottles and tool bottles. We got more PFDs for patients, and then you got more swift water sets. You get your CFRD equipment, your med bag, uh, trauma bag, MCI bag. This compartment we got some extension power cords, some stoke, uh, the stokes basket, another hook, extension cords, the black tent, which is the hot and cold situation zone, generator, air pump for the tent, partner saw, light tower controls, and more uh, power cords. Up top in the red bag is we have the 12 foot boat. Uh, inflates in about three minutes to fill and then they have the crane to lower it just like the tactical support units. Uh, they're working on moving the one compartment so they can lay it on top uh, like the tactical support unit has. They also carry some foam up there and the motor. Taking a walk around of the rig when it's lights on, this unit used to be called the Marine Incident Response Team, but was recently changed to Marine Tactical. While this unit is not extremely busy, the members do assist with the mechanics and administrative purposes in the office, assisting the Marine Division in their needs. If you have any questions about the Marine Tactical, you can leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching this week's Fleet Friday and I'll see you guys next week.